Your life and your home are top of mind when wildfire rips through your community, but what about your brain health? A new study out today shows wildfire smoke greatly raises the risk of a dementia diagnosis. Yeah, that research was conducted right here in California over a span of a decade. Your reporter Ashley Sharp is in studio now to break it down for us. Pretty fascinating connection. Yeah, this is a new one and it couldn't be more timely. The park fire burning now near Chico is the sixth largest wildfire in state history and Cal Fire says this underscores how important it is to be prepared. In light of this new study, Alzheimer's advocates hope that you'll add in one more step at your home to protect your brain health in and around fire country. Wildfire rips through Butte County and beyond. The park fires flames leveling homes and sending massive amounts of smoke into the Northern California sky. There's a greater concentration of toxic chemicals in wildfire smoke. Wildfires burn everything in their paths, right? So that can be anything. Nikki Rubarth is regional director for the Alzheimer's Association. That toxic wildfire smoke can be hazardous to your brain, according to new research, studying more than a million Californians over 10 years. So it's significant. The study found the odds of a new dementia diagnosis increased 21% every time the smoke particles in the air increased by just one millionth of a gram. It's people at a lower socioeconomic level who experience the greatest threat. In fire country, preparation is crucial near the park fire. And my truck's loaded and I'm ready to go out the driveway if the fire gets close. And in neighboring counties, many are creating defensible space around their homes. It's in the forefront of our minds. But in light of this new study, the Alzheimer's Association says there's one more layer of protection to think on. What should people do in their homes to protect from the wildfire smoke and its impact it can have on their own health? Making sure you have adequate, efficient filtration. You're changing your air filters. Your filtration system is being cleaned. And then when you are going outside, wearing an N95 mask, so you're minimizing your exposure to any kind of wildfire smoke. Now, this 10-year study also found that the risk for dementia is notably higher with wildfire smoke than other types of air pollutants, even with less exposure. Plus, air pollution produced by wildfires now makes up more than 70% of this harmful particulate matter in the air on poor air quality days, which these researchers called a real problem here in our state. Just the connection with, with the brain, uh, how it impacts and relates to things that are happening in real life, right? Yeah, it impacts, you know, not just your lungs because that sends oxygen into your brain and mm -hmm. it's all of these in intricate things that we don't necessarily think about but we're learning more about due to this progress. Oh, fascinating. Ashley, thank you. Mm -hmm.